Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Noise, and welcome back to Forever Stranded. It took me a second to remember what this series is called. Welcome back to Forever Stranded. Last time, we were working on getting... Uh, we got the watering can last time, I do believe, or... Yes, I believe we were doing that, and doing some quests. Uh, we made some lava. Or was that the time before? No, that was last time. Uh, I took that down, by the way. Uh, but today, we're going to continue doing some more quests and maybe even start automating some cactus. Because uh, that might be a good idea. So, I spent some time sifting. This isn't even comparable to what I actually did because it's all over in that chest. But uh, I just kind of want to show off that you can compress flint into compressed flint. Uh, it's 9 flint for one of these and it's just a block form like redstone or diamonds or anything like that. Uh, just to kind of keep things um, compact and whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, I've also kind of made this a little bit nicer so I can have some compressed cobblestone in there stored. Um, although, I'm going to keep the gravel and sand and dust in here. Because why not? But, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of ore gravel. And we just happen to have a quest that we need to do. Which requires us to get... A bunch of iron, copper, tin, lead, silver, gold, all sorts of stuff. So, let's go ahead and we're just going to get a bunch of all of these. And you know what? We're actually going to go outside to do this because there's going to be more room. But yeah, so I sifted for a bit. I think I went through like 36 compressed uh, gravel to get this, but uh, it wasn't too bad. So... Uh, silver is about the only thing that we don't really have much of. We have a lot of aluminum. I don't know how useful that's going to be at this point, but uh, we'll see. It might be super useful. Who knows? Uh, it depends. Uh, some mod packs will allow you to use uh, aluminum in place of like iron for things like hoppers. I don't know that this one does, um, but we are going to need at least one hopper today uh, if we want to make the uh, thing, the, oh, why am I blinking? The cactus farm. Also, I've been getting a lot of weird, uh, we had it last time where we had a, uh, a glitch with all the chisel and bit stuff. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if it really matters all that much, but it is a thing, so... Oh well, whatever. Uh, so we're gonna have a lot of this stuff. Um, and I'm probably gonna need to go make another hammer. But we need to just cook up, yep, gonna need to make another hammer. All right, so um, we're gonna need to cook up a bunch of this stuff. And I went ahead and made some more tiny coal just because it's more efficient. Um, better to have the tiny coal that lasts forever than to use um, the only it only uh, smelts one thing at a time so it's better to have that than to use the uh, other stuff so the only thing that I'm, I'm not entirely sure is I do need to put this uh, cactus farm somewhere uh, and since cactus is going to be how we get all our water uh, I will be honest we haven't had to use too much water so far like Water hasn't been a drastic thing. Like, that's been there since last episode. So, it's one of those things that, yeah, we're going to need it. But at the same time, how much of it are we actually going to need? And I still... Okay. We're going to look at this right now. Mod options. Uh, is there a mouse tweaks? Yes. I want to disable that. Can I not disable that? Can I config? Um... I just want to turn all those off and hopefully I don't have this problem anymore. I don't like mouse tweaks. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know what it is it's actually doing, but whatever it is, it just always messes with me and I do not like it. So we'll turn it off. Um, pretty easy solution. All right. So we are plenty cool. Um, I also got the all of the uh, rice taken care of. 
Um, do we have something that's like four? We have a whole bunch of powdered iron. We have some powdered lead. Let's use that. Um, eventually we'll make these some iron chests and then gold chests. Uh, cause I think that's in this mod. Yeah, it is. Cause we have a copper chest over here. Uh, so let's just throw some of the ore sand out here. Don't need the dust. The dust can stay in my inventory. So, um, we need four lead. Let's just do this. And we can get go ahead and get the lead. And I'm going to stick the iron in here. Uh, I have a system that I always use for kind of ordering all the stuff. Um, I'm going to continue using that because, well, it works for me. And it makes it easier for me to know kind of what I'm missing, what I need more of, all that kind of stuff. Um, basically, there's typically nine different uh, metals that you'll be concerned with in these mod packs. Um, you have the vanilla ones, and then uh, the, I consider them the forestry ones, the copper tin, um, and then like lead, silver, um, naturally go together. Uh, if you're not familiar with like actual real world, I do believe lead deposits are often found near silver deposits because they are very, uh, they're often found in the same like minerals uh, or whatever that would be considered. But anyways, it's, it's something I picked up from old mob packs of uh, Greg Tech. You would always have silver and lead next to each other. Um, like processing with each other type stuff. Um, you know, I do gold, iron, and nickel because iron and nickel create alloys. Um, I put platinum with the lead and silver, and I keep um, aluminum with the copper and tin. Just kind of wh whatever system. Um, but it works for me, so that's all that really matters. <laughs> do we have enough durability? I think we do. I think we're just going to have, like, right at, yep. We probably have, like, two durability. Nine durability. So, kind of close, but... Alright, we need, like, ten iron for this quest. So there's the lead. Let's go ahead and get the iron. Um, we'll go ahead and get the rest of this stuff kind of taken care of, but um, we'll grab what we need and not worry about the rest. So, 10 and aluminum. So, um, cool. Put all that stuff back in there. Uh, so, let's see, we have the lead. So lead can go down there. Uh, we need four silver. We have exactly that. We need eight gold, I do believe. We don't need any aluminum. Um, I believe we need four copper. And I believe we need four tin. Um, so let's double check that. Four of everything except for iron and... Yep. So while we're waiting, let's grab our... I have 60 rice... Uh, is what I ended up getting and that is another quest up here so we need to have 40 rice seeds in our inventory as well and are we getting hotter or are we cooling down um wow what? does the door like flick it forward or something because that's the only thing I can figure with something like that that was really weird anyways there is 40 rice seeds and that should be a quest. Um, ooh, so we have, okay, so we have, we're gonna get toast, we're gonna get oranges, but then we have a choice. Coffee, tea, cotton. Um, I don't really care about any of that stuff. Let me, let me look at some of these. So, uh, tea seeds, I bet I know how to get those. Um, basically, 
yeah, I don't really care about tea because tea isn't all that useful. Um, make some mediocre food. Same with coffee. Um, but I think what we're going to have to do is have a grass area and then like um, bow mill it, much like we did in Crash Landing. So those two I don't really care about. Uh, cotton. Uh, cotton is useful for making cotton candy. That's not how that works. Um, it's useful for making string and, um, yeah, string mostly, but we should have flax. Um, flax is much better. Yes, flax is much better for making string. Um, so don't need cotton. Um, what else did we have the option of dragon fruit, fruit or pear or a loot chest? I'm going to take the loot chest. So let's claim that reward, and we have our dragon fruit. We have some toast, which is actually really nice, and we have a loot chest. So let's open this guy. We got double compressed bones. Um, so compressed bones. Wow, that's a lot of bones. Cool. That is actually really nice. So um, we're going to stick some of the stuff in here. And the double compressed bones can go in here. I realized I had some iron on me, but oh well. So what else do we have available to us? Um, I guess we should look at what reward do we want. Uh, so the cactus farm is going to be completely and utterly um, vanilla. No machines needed, no nothing. Uh, the only thing we're going to change is we're going to use a drawer uh, to store the stuff rather than a standard um, chest just because it's going to give us a lot more room. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. I do want to take a look at hoppers. Um, looks like iron is the way to go. That's fine. We have plenty of iron. Now, um, something else we're going to want to do is a, um, a chopper which this is also pretty easy to make. We could honestly, I have, we're not quite ready to go to the iron chopper, but we can at least go to the stone chopper pretty easily. Um, I don't know, do we need to have uh, like stone stone or can we use cobblestone? Looks like it's stone stone, but that's whatever. Uh, just smelt up some cobblestone, or yeah, smelt up some cobblestone, no problem. So that is something that I wanna do. Um, because that's going to give us access to basically not having to worry about uh, not having to worry about like cutting down trees and all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's take a look at the capacitor. Uh, it is a basic capacitor bank that requires block of redstone, some iron, some copper. That's actually not that bad to make. Um, the later tiers are going to be a lot more difficult because it does require electrical steel or no energetic alloy which requires the alloy smelter which um isn't actually that bad to make huh that's not too bad to make uh so i don't think the capacitor is all that important um there are some other capacitor banks so um wooden capacitor uh, these guys can store energy. I don't know how good they are, um, but then uh, thermal expansion also has basic energy cells. But these are, nah, actually not too bad. Um, and then how do you make? Yeah, that's just some glass and iron. That's not too bad. Um, those are converters, turret bases. Yeah, I don't care about much of that stuff. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other energy storage. Uh, conduits I've heard are a little bit annoying to make. Doesn't look too bad. And eh, maybe it's not the conduits, maybe the, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, energy storage I don't think is going to be too much of an issue. Uh, now the other thing was the photovoltaic cells. 
Um, so there is, so these are max 160 RF per tick, 140, 10. Um, this would be giving us, let's stand in, actually let's grab this out of there. Start cooking up the 10. Uh, so this would give us the basics, which is just 10 RF per tick. Um, if I look at a generator, uh, I do believe I could make a stone generator. I don't know. Again, I don't know how useful those would be, but um, furnace generator Mark One is not that expensive, and that probably generates decent amount of fuel. Uh, the the colony generators from extra utilities. Um, not just the culinary generators, really any of these that would be, uh, the furnace generator would probably be the best. That's not actually that bad either. So, um, I don't think power is, and then this, uh, the sterling generator, which isn't super use, like super good. Uh, it's very cheap. So we don't really have to worry about that either, I don't think. Uh, so I guess let's let's go with the loot boxes because I like random chance um, and Yeah, random chance that's gonna be fun. So uh, Hopefully I can remember how to make this thing um, We are gonna need some more torches. So let's get Some more sticks And some coal how is this coming? Almost done. Uh, and one, two, three, four. There are a bunch of torches. So um, we're going to need two chests. And we're going to turn one of these into a drawer. Uh, the next thing we're going to need is a bunch more wood. Um, <laughs> You know, let's let's make one more chest into a another drawer. Um, because of things, and then we're gonna make some signs. Nine signs. That should be enough. So there is the copper. Um, detect submit. Hey, detect. Come on. All right, now you have. So uh, I'm gonna take the loot, loot chest because that seems to be reasonable to me. And energy conduit, that might not be a bad thing. I don't know, we'll see how bad this is. But we also need to make, the, hey, we need to make a bone crook. I have enough bones to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So there we go. Also, we have some nether rack. Uh, we have some end stone. Uh, we have wool. That's not really that good. And tripwire hooks. That's not good. All right. Well, I I guess that is a thing. Um, all right. So let's get a couple of things going. Um, first of all. I want to make the chopper. Uh, this is going to be useful enough, so let's get another chest. Uh, we're going to need a furnace. And we're going to need a wooden axe. And I don't think I did that one right. I think it says like this. Yeah, so there is the wooden chopper. And to make the stone one, we need a stone axe and some uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone. So before we do too much more, let's take this crook out here. And I'm just going to go ahead and break this stuff. Uh, because why not? Just to use up the crook. There we go. Um, I would like some more wood though, because I am running low, uh, and I think we're going to need two more chests, so 
Um, we're gonna make some more chests. Or two more drawers, rather. Um, but I'm not sure. We might just do a chest. Uh, that might be better. Uh, I'm not sure how the chopper is going to work with that. And there's a spider. And eh, he can live. Uh, the spiders are going to get over the walls. That's fine. So we have some of the stuff. Let's make some more sticks. We'll use this to make stone axe with this guy. And once we get the last of that, we'll be good. Um... So I do believe that, unfortunately, the uh, the choppers don't really have much of a range, uh, and they're kind of weird. Let's come over here, and I want to go ahead and find a block of sand, because we're going to replace this, uh, this dirt, and honestly, I'm going to just go ahead and break this. And we're going to move that to somewhere else. Um, but while we wait, let's go ahead and break the cactus. So um, what we're going to do with the cactus is we're going to make a vanilla cactus farm. We're going to use signs to knock cactuses off when they grow uh, into a water pool to a hopper to uh, whatever... Uh, to the uh, the drawer so we get a bunch of cactus that is the plan that's that's gonna be the thing and then eventually we will we'll be forced to uh, we'll probably be forced to uh, void out any excess but for the time being it doesn't really matter so let's get the stone chopper I want to see how this works and if it works how I think it does it's been a while since I've used this mod but there's the stone chopper. Um, we're gonna use a chest with this one, I think. Um, or, I don't know, but let's make the hopper too. Uh, and then we can get rid of all these metals. So silver, lead, gold, copper, tin. All right, uh, that is why we made the signs, by the way. So, Machine should be placed on the same level as saplings. All right, uh, that is what I needed to know. And I believe we just put it like here and we put the sapling down and we can put a bunch of saplings in here. Uh, it chops, add tools. So we need to make, wow, compressed Enderman. That would be uh, terrifying. Uh, let's get, you know what? Let's get an iron axe. Uh, I want to make sure something first. Yep, 250 durability. So, uh, I just want to make sure that wasn't going to be like a mistake. But we should be able to take a little bit of coal. And there's the compressed enderman. I am really tempted to fight that. Because I would like ender pearls. That was creepy. Um, tool level too high. I can't use iron axes. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. So we'll put this away. Uh, and we'll make a stone axe. Less durability, but eh, cheaper, renewable. And that's that's more of what matters. So we'll put that there, and what we can do is I think, actually can I just do this? I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's watering can this guy and try to get him to grow. I want to see this guy work. So it's not going to use any fuel until, actually let's, oops. Make tiny coal. So its range is only one. You can upgrade the range with, uh, there's upgrades for that. Um, but that's not something I really care to do. So let's 
grab a little bit of bone meal. Do I not have any more? I have compressed bones. What am I talking about? I can get a little bit more bone meal. I'm really hot, so I want to do this quickly, and then we're going to go cool down. And we have seven wood in there. So it's waiting. These have a side to them, I think. Um... How bad is an upgrade for that? Uh, so what is this mod? Progressive automation. Uh, progressive automation. Uh, is there any sort of like book or anything like that? No. Now we could get a stone upgrade. That's just a wooden upgrade with, um, so it's just more wood basically. Um, ooh, crafters, that would be nice. Animal farms, okay. So a lot of things. Hmm. Stone armor, wood armor. Okay, so. That is, that is expensive, but that's not that bad. I wonder what the, uh surprises but there is a couple of upgrades you can do um whether shearing yeah there is also add to the fuel slot to power with the mission with rf so eventually we'll, we'll be able to do that but the wooden upgrade and then the stone upgrade might be something we want to do so let's get A cobblestone. Is this no? Um, because I, I just don't know what the the range is. Um, so we need a piece of redstone, which we have. I guess we'll do the. I don't know. It's we're starting to get close to where I'm gonna want to start wrapping up the episode. So. I don't know if we're going to be able to make the cactus farm today. We'll, we'll start doing it. And I will kind of demonstrate the whole idea of it. Idea of it. Um, all right, so it's one of these sides. I know it. Uh, unless it's the other side. It's that side. All right, so we don't need to do the upgrade, but I am going to keep... Um, a little bit of stone on me as well because that's not a bad idea so let's use the bone cook because I don't really care about um, this guy it was just for a quest that's all I made it for by the way did we uh, we haven't got anything from this yet um, I'm gonna take the loot box because once again I like random chance and all that other stuff is kinda meh uh, we don't really need it so who cares um, so, we have seven in there. I'm going to go ahead and bone meal this. There we go. So I just want to see what happens. And let's go cool off. We will get our reward. And that's making us hotter. Uh, partially because of the time of day. I think... I don't know. So we have we don't need the the stuff anymore. Um, let's look at our quest book. So gold hammer, don't care. Gold ore, um, I don't think it's useful right now. Iron sword, not not interested. So let's just claim that reward and nothing else. But we have got creative life, creating life. So sixty four seeds, and they'll give us a chicken. Okay, so that's going to be fun. Uh, let's open our loot chest, delighted mill and cooked tofu, what? what? Oh, is it supposed to be lamb? 
it's a rack of lamb. All right, so more food. That's I for whatever reason I'm not having to eat all that much, which is really nice. Uh, let's throw that in there. Uh, these guys go in here. Do I have any excess cactus? It's all in here. So um, we're gonna take like four cactus. I think that'll be enough. And honestly, we'll take this out. We can put this away. And we're gonna need like a couple stacks of cobblestone. All right, let's go cool off. Uh, then once it's night, we can start building this. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing, and I do need a bucket of water, um, but I think I'm gonna take down the rice farm because we have enough rice for the time being. Um, so I don't really care about it all that much. So I'm just gonna take the water out of that. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, cactuses in midair above a water pool um, and we're going to use that to uh, with the uh, help of some signs to kind of make sure that the cactuses pop off um, we're going to make a farm uh, where the cactus will eventually grow and then when um, because cactuses cannot occupy a state uh, a space next to another block um, as soon as it grows there's gonna be a sign there and it's gonna pop off and it's gonna land in the water about down below. And then that's gonna push it to a hopper and uh, that'll put it into the collection system. So that's that's the plan. Um, hopefully we can get to work well. And it's going to be very basic, um, but it's gonna make it so I don't ever have to harvest any cactus ever again. So our heat is good enough. So let's go ahead and take this. I wanna go ahead and break these guys. Horse dirt. Oh. Did not realize that was coarse dirt. So nothing will actually grow on it. But we can get... Uh, we can... Nothing will grow on it per se, but uh, we can still use it for trees. So did it put the stuff automatically in here? 12. No. Alright, so let's break that and what we'll do is we'll just put a chest right here and I'll put the stuff in there so I will I'll have a nice um, I'll have a nice container full of stuff and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right over here and this doesn't be, need to be super large but I think we're gonna do it right here uh, I want to make sure F7's on and let's see uh let's put the drawer not there eh. yeah let's put the drawer here put a torch on it because it doesn't really matter we'll put the hopper into it and we can put the 40 cactus in there and then this is actually going to have water on it, so let's put the torch there. Um, and we'll do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So something like this. I'm not entirely sure how large this needs to be. Um, but I know that there is a maximum it could be. So we're gonna have a little bit of spawnable area for the time being, but that's gonna be okay. Uh, so they saw me. Um, we're gonna do something like this. And yeah, get more stuff. We'll put this right here for now. Just get some more cobblestone. So, um, 
basically we're gonna put we're gonna put water ah let's, let's block this side so we don't get as much uh, sand in here shouldn't matter too much but we are gonna have to clean this up which is a bummer And I think something like this will be good enough, um, and then we'll light it up. I don't know if we're going to need... Of course it had to be a sandstorm tonight. Um, I don't know if we're going to need any more uh, stuff. So we're probably going to need two sources, one in each corner. And how it'll work is we'll have cobblestone, and I need some sand, some actual sand that is. So yeah, these sandstorms are terrible. Um, but we're going to basically have some floating blocks. And then we're going to put signs out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I want to have them about two from each wall. And I need to make this bigger or something. Uh, what is this? One, two. Yeah, I'm going to need to go forward or back two more um so i'll tell you guys what because this is getting to the point where i need to i probably should have measured and thought about this a little bit more than i did before making it um but oh well we'll we'll just get some more uh we'll just get some more in terms of like space for this uh, and I do want it to be enclosed because it's going to make my life le a little bit easier. So, yeah, what I'll probably want to do is a line here, and then one, two, ah, where did you come from? Oh no, they're getting over the wall. All right, well, uh, let's light this up. And let's go inside. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Uh, yeah. I'm going to need to end the episode off here. Um, I need to do some sifting. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, I'm going to need to do some sifting. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that I can get some sugar cane. Ah. Uh, let's just use cobblestone. Doesn't really matter. What did I... Okay, laboratory blocks. Uh, he came running for me. So I'm going to do some sifting and um, try to get some, uh, I want to try to get some of the, uh, the things, uh, what am I trying to think of, um, let's have a piece of toast, that's got a lot of saturation which is really nice, uh, I'm going to try to get some punji sticks, I'm going to get sugar canes and that's going to be the next thing I really really need to get, um, but in the meantime, I'm going to kind of hang out here, wait for the sandstorm sand storm to pass. That is a mouthful. And um, just kind of work on getting some stuff cleaned up around here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We got automatic tree farm at least. Um, I'm going to continue working on 
the cactus farm um, between episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!